the coronavirus is also impacting college sports now. UMKC has decided to cancel their men's basketball away game against Seattle University this weekend. But KCTV5's Greg Payne explains that despite that, another game still set, still set to tip off is raising eyebrows. This afternoon, UMKC's campus was quiet. But inside Sweeney Center, it was busy. As the UMKC women's and men's basketball team got ready for their upcoming opponents. Last game, the men's team blew out Chicago State, the school who announced today both of their teams would be canceling their away games against Seattle University and Utah Valley due to coronavirus concerns. That's part of the reason the UMKC's men's team decided to do the same, canceling their trip to Seattle. The school director of athletics said in a statement, based on the current developments involving the coronavirus in Seattle, it is imperative for us to be proactive in regards to the safety of our student athletes and men's basketball program. Washington State has had 10 deaths due to the virus, nine of which are in King County, where Seattle is. I think it's good that they kept the players away from that, and I think it's good that they didn't go in general because we could like help spread the coronavirus, and we don't, we don't want that, you know? You wouldn't want to send the athletes there and then have a possibility of them contracting the virus and bringing it back to the university. But while the men's away game against Seattle is canceled, the UMKC women's team will still be hosting Seattle University's women's team Saturday in Kansas City. If they're hosting them here then I don't quite understand because I feel like if you're going to exclude one team then you have to do both. I can understand it in a way that since they're hosting it here it's a bit different uh, rather than our team going to Washington but um, I mean I think it'd be fair for both teams if both didn't play. We reached out to the school about whether the Seattle University women's team will be quarantined or go through any special measures but they haven't returned our message. Reporting in Kansas City, I'm Greg Payne for KCTV 5 News.